All right, guys, good morning, everybody. I'm just going to do the recap today. It was a pretty uh, solid day. Hi, thanks for watching my video. My name is Andrew Aziz, and I'm the author of How to Day Trade for a Living. In this channel, I'm showing my daily trades on the US stock market. I hope that you enjoy the videos. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and welcome to my channel. For me, I take one trade on Tesla, one minute opening range break up and turned out to be a very nice trade. And now I'm sitting on some SPX7 GFQ to see what happens uh, tomorrow. This one is more like a position trading. Uh, I'm in Switzerland. I'm in uh, Carlo's uh, office. Uh, Carlo is this person that we published a paper together and turned turn out to be a really amazing uh, um, paper. Um, and uh, yeah, so it was really nice trading with him in the office and uh, his colleagues. Uh, Tesla trade was really nice. So obviously, uh, PPI number came in this morning and PPI number was a little bit higher. It means that the price uh, inflation is happening on the producer side. But for some reason, market is still gapping up and trading higher. Regardless, Tesla was trading open very nicely. I took a one minute opinion range break up on that. So if you see what we saw here, so you know it was a very open strong at the revap I bought, but it stopped us below the revap. And you know, a really nice pop up. Uh, I got took only less than 2,000 shares and it turned out to be a very nice pop from 266 to 268. But this is something very interesting that I want to actually talk about. And let me uh, show a couple of screenshots. So the same uh, trade that I did, Avi did that trade uh, with the, with the, I mean, with the, with the options. And uh, let me actually zoom in a little bit here. So. He did the same trade, so the quality is not great here. But uh, the you know he did the options trade with two sixty seven calls from four dollars to four fifty, and he actually made more money than that. Uh, so that just shows the power of the options. Uh, that if you trade the options, uh, you know you use that uh, ex excessive essential leverage on that. So I have a better picture that I posted on Instagram on this uh, on his trade. So essentially the same trade at the open, it'll be the four to four fifty. That's a really nice twenty five percent move on that. So. That was really nice. Again, you know, you can buy the options uh, really at 267 calls, which is just below the, you know, in the money. So you buy that, you get this massive move when options are significantly more. Or you can buy the uh, product like TSLL, which is a, a leverage product for uh, a Tesla. So it moves up to from 1690, went up all the way up to 1712. So that's a more, more massive run that they had. Um, anyway, so Tesla was amazing. Uh, so after that, really sold off, and I really didn't touch that. Brian, at the previous day close, he took that trade to the long from 263.66 all the way up to uh, this pop. So again, you know, at this uh, previous day close, you can also buy call options. You can buy a 263 or 264 call, and then when it, this pop happens, you know, the king of levels, you can profit uh, from that. So, and that's essentially my only trade that I did. One of the things that I really like about it was uh, that uh, uh, Avi called it uh, this uh, Tesla long at the open. So as you see here, I zoom in here. His trading plan is 9:23, seven minutes before the open, long from 264.50 to 268. It was part of his plan, and that's what I love. That plan a trade and uh, you know trade the plan. That's very very nice. Exactly. That's what exactly what I was uh, you know enjoying, and that's why I got uh, my um, uh, really um, uh, you know the attention. In terms of uh, trading other people in the chat room, I think uh, Paris shared a couple of really nice trades he did. One of them is on Amazon. Again, people uh, who are interested to see how Paris is doing very nice one minute to pin range break up. You know, as you see here, really a strong open, uh, you know, for one minute, came above the revap, he won long on this pullback, and really amazing up, uh, amazing move up on Amazon. That's uh, one of his trades that he did. And he had also another trade, I think, that he shared with us on. Uh, was it Exxon or Plug that he did a really nice uh, trade on that? Let's see which one I have. That's Exxon, yeah. So short uh, on the revap, you know, tier one, tier two, and tier three. He explains what the tier uh, sizing is that it was course, and from 106, a really nice drop. So I really, really uh, like that trade. Uh, Thor also did a very nice trade, uh, shorting QQQ from uh, S4. So, you know, right now from S4 here, 371 this is a really nice short that he wrote that. Uh, trade to the downside again, very nice uh, trading uh, on things, and I think Jared traded on Nvidia and Tesla as well. So, in specifically Nvidia, it was a very nice uh, pop at the open, and it came back up, and now Nvidia is going to go break the high of the day. Uh, looks like it. 
Uh, Brian, I know you discussed that trade that very nice bounce on the reversal on Tesla. What else you traded? Uh, I just, uh, I just uh, went, went short, short uh, plug, plug. Uh, oh, at uh, yeah, yeah. seven seventy and just covered it uh, as it was falling at the open. Yeah, uh, it's I amazing. Tried, yeah, yeah. So I didn't get a lot of lot of move on it, but uh, you know, a couple thousand shares, twenty cent move is okay. No. Yeah, that's great, guys. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for uh, for having uh, having uh, watching this uh, recap. If you have any question, ask in the comments. And uh, I would appreciate if you subscribe to our channel. I'm in Switzerland the next couple of days, and now uh, back in the office uh, by next week, guys. Yesterday we also had a really really amazing webinar by Thor. Uh, it's posted in Education Center, guys, on uh, volume price analysis. Uh, have a good day, guys, and uh, see you all, guys, uh, soon.